So the question is about hexadecimal is used for hypertext markup language HTML color codes and HTML color code is uh, you can see that there's a hashtag 2F15D6. Each pair of digits is stored as binary in an 8-bit binary register. You have to give the 8-bit binary value that would be stored for each pair of hexadecimal digits. No. So now the trick here is, well, let's say the tip here is to split these uh, hexadecimal values into two bits. Like that is technically, let's call it a nibble. So a nibble is made up of four bits. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take this 2F. I'm going to take 2F and I'm going to split it into two individual units. So that is in, eight, in uh, let's say, in four bits in this case so you have eight four two one eight four two one now this is a table that i've drawn uh i've written down is that this is a generating uh, hexadecimal table so all the numbers let's say all the generating numbers from zero to nine have the hexadecimal values from zero to nine but all the denary values from 10 to 15 have hexadecimal digits all the way from a to f all right so we're going to draw let's want to write down all these values since 2 is going to be 0, 0, 1, 0 based on the conversion, and we know that f is equivalent to 15, so that's going to be 1, 1, a plus 4 is going to be 12, so we're going to have 1, 1, 1. So now all we need to do is just write this down in your table here. So you have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now this is going to be your answer for 2f in 8-bit. Uh, binary register. All right, let's repeat the same process for 15. Now, 15 is not taken as F completely. We're going to split these values into two values. You have 1 and 5. So this is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, and 5 is going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. So we're going to individually take these units as they are. So you have 0, 0. All I've done is I've just converted them. So you have 0, 1, 0, 1. So you have these kind of values. Now D6, on the other hand, we have to do the same repetition again. We're going to just split these values. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise this so that we can see how to convert the value for D6. D6, you're going to split these values into two values. You have D and 6, and we know that D is equivalent to 13 on the table. And 13, so you have 8, 4, 2, 1. We're going to make it into a nibble so that we can split these values. 13 is going to be 1, 1, since 8 plus 4 is equivalent to 12. 0, 1, and 6 is going to be 0, 1, 1, 0. The answer is going to be 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So now these are the 8-bit binary values that are going to be stored in the register for your hexadecimal digits. All you have to do is just split these hexadecimal digits into, four, into let's say, into nimbles that is uh, comprising of about 4 bits. So that's the method of conversion from hexadecimal to 8-bit binary values and uh, yeah.